Welcome back. In the previous part, we met Mao here, who's trying to become a hero, so he can, you know, defeat his death. As you do. As you do. Anyway, we, we've still got a few more little tutorials to do. We should be done pretty soon, though. Have you gone to the nurse's office? You should recover your HP and SP, or you will have trouble in battle. Done that. I clearly understand that already. Stop treating me like a child. Also remember to save before entering a battle, as well. Yeah. Yes, I know, I know. I'll be sure to do so, don't worry. Seriously, you're a demon, yet you meddle in my business all the time. Just like someone else. <gasps> oh my. Tutorial 2! The Return. Thanks for making a fool out of Chewie. Next up is my turn, Ols. You're the same guy from earlier. Chewie, right? Racist. No, my name is Cholo. I'm gonna wreck you for what you did to my little bro. I see, you're Chewie's older brother. My evil analysis suspects that you're a higher level honor student. Of course, Holmes. If you think I'm like my little bro, you got another thing coming. Andale, muchachos! <laughs> you're exactly the same, relying on others too. But that's not all! <laughs> I like Chewie! I'm gonna watch from a higher and safer distance, Holmes! Yeah, good luck with that. Sure, I guess your cheap and cowardly tactics are those of a higher level honor student, but... You can't move either, can you? Y you're right, Holmes! You're so slow! I don't need any more of these random punks. Hurry up and let me go meet that legendary hero. Well, I guess we'll begin then. Um, I suppose we will, because I'm not sure what it's telling me. It's probably just about the height difference, etc., and throwing and stuff. But we'll see it. Did you call for me, young master? Indeed, I wish to squash these little pieces of trash over there, but they've retreated to a difficult location. Oh, oh, that is indeed troublesome. Then I shall give you some very interesting advice. Tutorial Lift and Throw. You can use Lift and Throw to reach enemies in high or far places. Oh, wait, please. Step. Experiment! Experiment! I like you when you said that. Here I go! As you can see, when the enemy is too far away, your attacks cannot reach. You must throw an ally to clear the gap. Experiment! Experiments indeed. Here I go! Like this? First, we will use the lift command to lift you up. Ah. Why? Just stand on. Anyway. What? Hey! I thought I was going to throw. No, first you must know what it's like to be thrown yourself, young master. Three panels. Hmm, it didn't reach. And don't throw me! But see this. Let's roll! I suppose we shall roll, yes. Seems like such a waste here. There's all these here. Like, yeah, sure, you can build that up, but it's like, what's the point? Just build a tower. Dear God. Go on. I'll handle it. It's like, get, get on with it, ain't it? Uh. Taking your time doing this, they could have just thrown someone up there who's really strong and you would have been fine. Here I go. There. Oh, wonderful. I was able to get across. Yes, lifting, throwing, and stacking are very important tactics. 
You can apply this in many ways, such as lifting multiple allies and throwing them to reach farther. There are many other strategies, so please experiment, utilizing your 1.8 million EQ. Sure, leave it to me. Why doesn't he just tell me? Oh, and one more thing. If you select and turn while still lifting an enemy, it will take damage, so be careful. Alright, let us properly begin now. We'll do it my way. Which will be, you know, Experiment. a bit different. We'll get Mal there. there. And we'll Let's go with Ruin there. there. It's so weird having another Ruin. And Simon there. will have there. there. Alright, we'll throw you up. Here we go. And we'll attack. There you go. That's how we do it. Alright, so, you will attack. And Hilda, no. you go there. To God! To God! You may as well start leveling up your heals. I mean, you're gonna be our healer, so... Camilla? Camilla? Yep, yeah, that's her name. No, not Camilla. Camilla. Okay, so, and turn. Here we go, dude! Here we go, dude. Forgive me. Do it, dude! Dear God! Dear God! Um. Yeah, that should be easy enough. Sure. I, mean. I, I love all the sound effects. That might be what I was mean. missing from this guy too. I mean, like these these type I mean. of noises. Just every I, mean. I do like my little noises here and there. Right, so we'll attack you again. There. Mao, you can actually attack now. Can you get any specials? No. Fine. It's fine. Attack there. That's all good there. And fire. Boop. I mean, they are weak to fire, aren't they? Yeah. It's fine then. Alright, so you, special heal. Boom. Boom. Let's execute all that. Survives, yeah, that's the things that I don't know. Just in time. Annoying, you got a counter out there. Alright, so we'll go here and we'll attack you and we'll enter. Do it, do it. Forgive me. Do it, do it. Do it. Go on. Do it, do it. Bomb. Why is there a bomb? Trini might die, dude. But it's a Trini, who cares? Right, so, attack, boom, that should be you dead, boom, boom, let's bring you here, do special heal there, um, we'll go fire there, that'll do, enter, yeah. oh, I thought that was going to finish him off, but no, pray, No, oh, he's gonna die then. Oh well. As long as I get through the tutorial, it's fine. I am cheating a little bit by not attacking the stuff that's down there first and doing that, but still. Still. Don't question me. I was trying to get everyone as quickly as possible, and it, it, it works. Worked. Fire. Boom. Special heal up yourself. Right, and turn. God. Here we go. Here we go. Dear God. Go on. Yeah, finish it. I? I can sense it already. I'll handle it. There we go. Dear God. Yay. Let me do heal at the end. Da -da -da -da. No story? Oh. Welcome back, Master. The Evility Labs are now open, dude. The Evility Lab is where you can buy evil abilities. Evilities. For battle support, special moves, and magic. Huh? Do we learn special moves and magic by leveling up? Steady effort is tiring and annoying. Indeed. So, recent school rules change. Changes what? So, recent school. So, recent school rule changes now allow you to learn anything if you have mana. I see, that's good. 
so I can pay mana for skills and magic I need in order to learn them efficiently. That's right, dude. And you acquire mana by giving the final blow when defeating an enemy. It's best to defeat more enemies so you can buy more and more skills and magic that you wish to learn, dude. Indeed. And I shall begin by defeating you. What? We're not enemies, dude. To prove it, I'll tell you something. Some abilities that are unique to a job can only be found by higher job ranks. I suggest you learn the abilities you want by reincarnating. You can get details about them at the labs, dude. Very well, well, we'll, we'll go have a little look. We'll go have a little look over here. I'm glad you came. This is the Evil Academy's Evility Research Center. Evilities are special traits that you will find effective in battle. Each job has a unique ability, which gives each job a special characteristic. Aside from this, each character can equip one additional ability. By paying mana, you can purchase abilities such as Poison Vaccine and Sleep Vaccine. It is best to choose an ability that fits each character's fighting style. Also, here at the Research Center, you can pay mana to purchase special skills, skill the magic, and power them up. Equip the ability that is right for the character and learn special skills along with them. It may be better if you begin learning special skills that match with each character's weapon of choice first. It seems Sir Mao is good at using the sword, so I suggest Sir Mao equip a sword and learn the Blade Rush skill. Let's turn that in. Alright, Sir so Mao, Blade Rush. Boom! It's like the Impaler drop. That's with spears, axe, so it's, 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 it's ooh, tower swing, we'll definitely get that, because yes, we have tower skills. I have the tower, tower tactics are properly back this time. That's the tower swing. So, uh, we've run out of mana. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, well. But I say we've run out of mana. We're there, we've run out of mana. Alright, triple strike. I was, I was thinking, like, where was everyone else? Yeah, we haven't healed up. We haven't healed up, I can't see him. Right, so, whoop, whoop, right, there we go. Right, let's go back now. Ruin. Right, you've got seven mana. You've got seven. Did that mean we need? Oh, it wasn't even worth doing that. And then, mow, mow. There's no point getting that. I need Hurricane Slash next, so I need to save up to get 300, so that's fine. Okay, right. Let's go back to the tutorial. Hello, Planner! Hello, what do you got to tell us? Can't believe she just said that. Anyway. Oh, what's that? Huh? What about my 1 million HQ? A A HQ? EQ. Hmm, young master. That is your evil quo 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 quotient? Your honor quotient. Shows how great of an honor student you are at Evil Academy. Right, here's a problem coming. Hmm, that doesn't pertain to me. You're mistaken, young master. Having a high HQ should come in handy. For example, depending on your honor quotient, you may get a discount when shopping or... The higher your honor quotient, the more your units will benefit from increased XP and mana gain and stat growth. Therefore, increasing your HQ will help you achieve your goals. Hmm, I see. Jeffrey, when did you come up with such a handy option? Hmm, whatever do you mean? You can check your honor quotient by pressing the triangle button. You can check the battle info for more details. Please use this to your advantage. It didn't come up. Hmm. This is the thing. The honor quotient... As far as I remember, it's based on GPS, because this is obviously a game on the Vita. But I'm playing it on PlayStation TV. This is where we may run into a problem, like a like a little screen may come up going like this feature is not enabled or something like that. It's like we'll just have to see, because it can get in the way apparently. But it's not overly game breaking. Sometimes is the best way I've seen it described. But anyway, tutorial three. what you're thinking, but it better not be that you're freshman leader because you beat Chewie and Cholo. Another one? How many siblings have you got? Even superheroes join teams these days. Why didn't you just come as an honor student demon trio? So, chiquito, your ideas are far too small on the evilness scale. What did you say? Uh-oh. Okay, I churro. All these Adivato brothers will show you badness on a grand scale, Wiggle. Ha! What could you possibly do? Muchachos! It's the same thing! Is that the only thing you brothers can do? I. 
I mean, I assume they're triplets, etc. So yeah. Ha! You got some huevos on you. No way the oldest of the Vato brothers would end up with just this huevo. Well, there goes my theory on that. Now, how will you manage to escape from this trap by the evilest Vato brother? It's gonna be geo panels. I mean, it, it's obviously geo panels. <laughs> What? What's so funny? <laughs> you challenge me with a 1.8 million EQ to an evil puzzle? Don't make me laugh. Based on the previous tutorials, I'm going to skip this one, by the way. Don't worry. A trap of your own design is mere child's play before me. This is too straightforward compared to all the games I've spent months playing. You shall see a true honor student here. It's gonna ask. Um, no. It's geo panels. I know what you're gonna tell me. It's like, well, you have the they're not pyramids here, by the way. They're, they're blocks. I think. I'm not quite sure what what you want to call them, but they're they're blocks. But basically, it's like I shove the green one on there and destroy it. That's it. I've already seen it. It's just, it's just like yeah. I I do that. All right, so let's put let's Rue roll. in there. All right, you put that let's roll. there. Yeah, still got diagonals. I think I can actually do diagonals better up. on this. Here I go. No, not there, Mal. Here I go. There. All right, so special blade rush. All right, execute because I might not kill it. Oh, no, no. I did. Alright, so that would destroy the red one, turning all the green ones to red. But then that would obviously destroy the blue one, turning all the red ones to blue, which would include the one at the end, which is the one that will turn everything to clear, basically, and kill everything off that is there. Simple. Also, I can make it go faster if I want. There you go. And just keep going back down to being slow again. There are, are skip functions in this, which is very nice. So we'll skip it now. But more or less skip it, you know. And then we get a skill as a result. There you go. Geo panels! Lots of stuff for doing that. Lots of stuff. Didn't get all the way down to snippers though. Uh no. To escape from the clutches of the Bato Brothers, this is like the first time I've met an honor student like you. If people like you pass for honor students around here, I can only imagine how bad the regulars must be. Yeah, go ahead and leave it up now. But there's many dangerously scary students here at Evil Academy. You see. Ooh, a worthy honor student? How exciting. Why don't you bring a muchacho like that next time? They're not all honor students, Wero. There's a freshman delinquent who gets your naranjas in a twist. Oh, that does not sound pleasant. What? <laughs> Good luck out there! Um, freshman delinquent? Yes, indeed. N no, no, that doesn't matter to me. I must concentrate my every evil sense into finding the legendary hero for now. It's gonna be Raspberry. Just so you know. Welcome back, Master. The classrooms are ready for use. Plein air! Classrooms? Why should I care? You don't think I'm actually going to go to class, do you? N no dude. Uh, the classrooms are more like a secret base. Secret base? Hmm. That has quite a ring to it. Classroom has functions for seat changes or in appointment student club. You can arrange battle formations too. By starting up a homeroom meeting, you can suggest different topics, dude. You can suggest a topic in the homeroom to get more ally characters, too. It'd be nice if you drop in, dude. Hmm, then I shall. We'll go have a look. Go have a look. Uh, go to the classroom. Attention! Attention! Welcome to the classroom, dude! This is the classroom, your secret headquarters for strategizing, dude. I'll explain how this place works, dude. First, there's seat changes, dude. I want you to look at the positions of the seats. See, there's a system here where ally characters seated next to each other have a higher chance of team attack. If you arrange characters who 
team a lot in battle to sit next to each other, you gain more advantages in battle. Hmm, it's like chummy chum chums. Make me nauseous. Next up is homeroom, dude. By starting up homeroom, you can get topics approved. But in order to get topics approved, you need the class reps to agree with you. And if they oppose... Well, uh, you're gonna have to make them agree by force, like the demons we are. Oh, I was gonna say, like, can, I, can I move now? Alright, so how do I change where people are sitting? That's, that's the thing I've gotta remember. Like this? Actually, I love fortune telling. I only believe in the bad ones, though. So do I see change? There we go. Alright, so Mao is there. Basically, I want to move you there. Mao over to there. Like so. Move you oh, down to there. That's uh, a bit better in terms of like getting things like chain, etc. Not chain, combo. Is it combo or is it chain? You know the one. You know the one. Because then it's like those three are around him. Fantastic. Well, but we're home room just yet because there's not much. So let's ditch class. And go off and see Raspberry, because it's obviously going to be Raspberry. Oh, let's heal up. But I don't need to heal up, really, do I? Oh, it did, apparently. Is that because I leveled up? I think it is. Choose your destination, young master. Strongest entrance. I'm finally home. Legendary hero! Where are you? Young Master, the Hero Dar is going off. The Hero must be hiding somewhere around here. I see. Then I shall find this Hero using my evil reasoning and mystery solving skills. Wait right there, Mao. There she is. You! You're... Raspberry's my name, but please call me Beryl. I'm a freshman at Evil Academy, just like you. I go with her full name, because it's just so much more fun. Raspberry. I'm also your childhood friend, and we've been rivals from day one. I'm the heroine of this game. Oh, amazing, my lady. To introduce yourself first, what a model delinquent. And how much exposition was in it! You're awfully kind to the customers who are playing this for the first time. There's, there's so much fourth wall breaking this, that might be why I like it. Ms. Rasberrel, the young master must not be bothered by a delinquent like you. Please leave. I'm not a place around here. Beryl! What do you want? You two need to work on your greetings. I just came here to help you keep on the straight and narrow honor student path. <laughs> you think I'm gonna stray from being an honor student? You want to become a hero, don't you? Don't act dumb. I heard you're after the powers of a hero. Gonna defeat the overlord, huh? That's something we delinquents do. It's not a trick for an honor student like you to have up your sleeve. You see, heroes are super rare spawns, even for us rule breakers. It is exactly as our lady mentioned. To become a hero, in other words, means you will be the number one delinquent. Honor students should stay the goody little two-shoes they are and stick to their evil deeds. <laughs> I see. For a demon to become a hero to defeat the Overlord may seem, from some angles, to be an act of delinquency. Who cares about the angles? You've got a lot of guts ignoring me, the greatest delinquent at this school! <laughs> Shut up! I do not act for such petty concerns. I'm the number one honor student. I think and act on a higher plane, far beyond your meager comprehension. Know that it is impossible to measure me with the same yardstick as you! Well spoken, young master. I am filled with joy from hearing such words. Ooh! I found a nickel! Today must be my lucky day! Yeah. If you're wondering. 
It's a, that's why he was called Legendary Hero in, in, in the DLCs and the other games. Yep. Hmm? That's an argument between demons? Hey, there's a little boy and girl too. Even though they're demons, I can't just ignore such small children being assaulted. But I'm all alone. Ah, what am I supposed to do at a time like this? Run. That's right. Now is when I remind myself of Sir Aram's words. The oath of a hero. No matter what trouble awaits, a hero must stand, face forward, against it. That's right. Running away is easy, but I'm the only one who can rescue those children right now. Only me. All right. I'm going to do this. I'll show you. Demons, stand aside. If you even lay one finger on those children, I... I'll never forgive you! Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I am Almos von Almondine Adamant. Definitely just calling him Almas. Uh, I am a hero! Mm-hmm. What, 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 what gives it away? Like, like may maybe, maybe the scarf. Maybe if you combine the scarf with Mao's, like, zip thing he's got on the front from the looks of it. Like maybe, maybe combine it with that guy at the beginning, like, like when he's going on about justice and stuff like that. You could maybe make a character like that. Uh, did, uh, um, did you just say hero? Uh, that's right. I'm a hero. I'm going to rescue you right now, so hold on. He's a real hero? Yes, the hero Dar is reacting. There's no mistaking it. He is the legendary hero. Hmm, he claims to be one himself, and his name sounds pretty dignified and hero-like, but... Young Master, please take a look at his status. Ah! That ominously brilliant title! Oh. Oh, there's no mistake, he is indeed a hero! Ah! What's with the drool in those big, glaring predator eyes? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. You should have a bad feeling about this. Whoa, awesome! A real hero! What a super rare spawn! Oh, oh my lady, please calm down. Oh, oh, right. Badasses like us gotta keep our cool. But to meet a real hero is like a dream come true. Hey, Mal, I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna protect this guy. Damn you, Beryl! You plan to stand in my way no matter what? Well, she is a delinquent after all. <laughs> of course! Back off, hero! I'll protect you! But in return, you owe me an autograph later. <laughs> what? Uh, um, what's going on? Why are you looking at me? Am I the target? In some regards, yes. There's no need to be afraid. Just simply obey me. Dear oh dear. Right, I'm actually going to end this part here. Because it will be a good place to actually end this part. In the next part, we'll go off and we'll defeat Razbelal, the number one delinquent. So we can obtain the hero wannabe. Oh, he's not a legendary hero yet. Ah, well. Right, we'll see you in the next part then. Ta-ta -ta for now.